What an absolute legend. <laughs> this yeah. man is... I love the energy. I love the energy from Capstad. Listen to them. Fantastic interview, Trouble, once again. Thank you so much, guys. Jesus Butling, thank you so much for joining me. Congrats on winning yet another thank trophy. You. Thank you. That's not the first one, Minky, for you. So how how is this one special for you? Um, this one is like more of a denying Excel one. <laughs> or just Fair like, enough. <laughs> it's a nice trophy, but it's like we're not qualified for Worlds yet or anything. Uh -huh. So we're mostly just looking forward to the season finals. And this one is nice to have, just to, you know, mm -hmm. just to win. It's, it's a warm-up trophy. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Stacking the shields <laughs> in, in the G2 shelf. We'll touch on Montpellier, Occitania a bit later and what it could mean for you, Hans, because, uh, yeah, last time you played in France on stage was in 2017. You lost to G2, so that's something we'll talk about a bit <laughs> later. Good thing I'm in G2 uh, now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you have the right jersey this time around. But um, I remember when you won your first title at the beginning of the year, one of the main focus points for me was your redemption, coming back from NA. A uh, traumatic year, from what you told me. Winning, proving yourself in Europe again. What is this title about for you this time, as the second one? Uh, well, uh, this title uh, means a lot for me. It means that I still uh, got it. Uh, you know, I, I tried uh, my best to perform uh, at my best and help the team as much as I can. Mm -hmm. And uh, getting to play with these guys uh, is really amazing uh, this year. Uh, I think um, this is a, there's still a long way, uh, road to go. Uh, I think we um, can improve so much more. I can improve so much more. I'm um, very excited that uh, some stuff I learned uh, mm -hmm. this year. Um, very happy to get that second trophy, to be honest. Like, I, I didn't, uh, I mean, uh, last year I would be like, I didn't win any trophy in my career and it felt like, uh, yeah, maybe I don't uh, have it actually, but. Uh, Having it as my second uh, really means a lot, and uh, yeah. very happy about that. You still have it more than ever, actually. And I think one of the main storylines we had uh, going through today was G2's consistency throughout the year. And with this statement win, 3-0 over Excel after being brought to five games by Excel last week, how do you rate G2's improvement this week? I'm talking to, to you, Jimmy. Oh yeah, <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I was you looking at me, them. So I mean, you can rate it as well. Part of the instead, conversation. We'll ask them later. No, okay. <laughs> well, I was more curious about. No, um, I think this victory was definitely more prepared. It felt like they probably got a little scolding behind the scenes after the last one. Probably, maybe I don't know, but uh, definitely way more secure in the essence of which it was played. I think they had a lot of different draft adaptations. They probably learned a lot throughout the first series that they did have. And I think we saw that coming through. I think game two should definitely have been harder for them. Maybe a bit some montage plays coming through, but in the end, it, they prevailed and it worked out for them. And I think they just showed that sometimes even when game one, it might look like they're getting outscaled, they know how to press the pedal to the metal, keep the drive up and make sure that no matter what, they will fulfill it all the way to the end. This outplay here, also was, one of the ones, yeah. he could have auto you once. He auto the Braum, and therefore he survived <laughs> with the shield coming up back after. So it's a close one, but it probably felt good to you guys afterwards. I thought we were mega dead. I didn't have mana <laughs> yeah. or anything. And then I was just about to get my shield. And then I was like, okay, next, next order was going to kill Kogma. I was like, oh no, we're both going to die. <laughs> but then he ordered the wrong guy. And then I got my E up and then, yeah, luckily we got up. You guys were way more decisive this time around than you guys were on Monday. How do you explain all this and the change of pace between this series and the previous one? All right, Hans, oh, let's man. go first. <laughs> I mean, definitely a clear difference. Uh, uh, because I think uh, the other, or last week, uh, we were maybe... I mean, we were shaky at times. We were not really playing together. And I think uh, maybe how we dealt with this whole like uh, series was kind of not the greatest. Uh, I think we've had one like first game, like the last series against uh, Excel, we had like one fine first game. Uh, we were winning very hard. But I think we were like, um, I, guess the, I guess we got maybe too cocky or wanted to uh, overplay a lot especially for the game two, mm -hmm. it didn't work out. And I think we kind of uh, made uh, some silly mistakes, uh, a lot of mechanical misplays because we wanted to, we wanted too much. Maybe we felt like we were like, uh, I don't remember the score, but first game, it was very bloody. Maybe we were like f uh, playing like we were fully 10 in terms of kills when it's mm -hmm. zero zeros. <laughs> that was, I think, uh, the problem. Uh, but going to today's series, I think we made sure that uh, we remain uh, 
calm. It doesn't mean anything to go to the second game after a win or a loss. Uh, you're going to uh, reset, uh, play, play as, uh, as best as you can. Uh, same mentality for the game one, uh, not overplay it or something like that, yeah. I don't know, to me, it feels like overextending, having funny moments, having funny games. It's just on brand for G2. It's always been like this, despite the roster changes, everything. So you have many fans here today. Mickey, is this what they should get used to? Is it always going to be like this with G2? I would say so, yeah. All right, well, guys. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would say that after last week, we got, like, more... On the same, like we were really not on the same page. So after, so this week we worked a lot on being the same page, draft in game because last week was more like autopilot mode. We were like just overgrouping, we were misplaying fights. It was like just complete disaster from everything. So now we looked at it and yeah, we just took a more calm approach and it was way easier to play the game. Yeah, yeah. and we were not lost like before. And I think it's nice to lose sometimes and to get the necessary learnings, especially leading into finals. And I know that I had PGL with your coaching staff two weeks back. We see Roma over here. Great, because I, I was just talking about him. Um, but he was telling me, I mean, him and Hisma were, I, and I know you know him really well, uh, telling me about the approach they have and how they can challenge point of views and make you guys progress. Can you tell me about how they made you guys get better, since MSI especially, leading into this trophy today? Uh, well, um, we always, uh, I mean, they're always uh, very good at implement, implementing new stuff uh, for, for us to, to improve. I remember like uh, uh, last week when we've had, uh, uh, I mean, I remember that we had like not the best uh, screams. Uh, it's been like, it doesn't really happen often, but last week we had uh, bad screams and then uh, like instantly we, like the coaching staff uh, help us really a lot to figure out a way to uh, bring herself uh, back or improve, you know, uh, get some positive back to the team and uh, giving some uh, other um, uh, like awareness mm -hmm. um, from the perspective and it's very helpful. Um, I think last week was, uh, or this week was a very uh, good setup for us to improve. Like we were doing a lot of, um, uh, VOD reviews, or we are talking to each other, uh, set up by the, uh, like the whole uh, structure mm -hmm. thingy. We are like talking one-on-one -on -one stuff. Uh, we are, uh, well, we're playing uh, solo queue a lot because uh, I think when we had our series against, uh, the other series against Excel, uh, <laughs> I think we didn't, we didn't play as much solo queue. We were like <laughs> playing so much 2v2v2. Two two two, so two the, came out. Oh, the staff, no. the staff, oh, right. the staff <laughs> has to like, uh, you know, <laughs> like, you guys are trolling, you have to, you know, you have to, <laughs> you have to try <laughs> play solo queue. Who got the uh, highest rank in arena? Yike. Uh, <laughs> well, <there you> <laughs> All right, maybe not too much arena leading into season finals because as a reminder, we will have six teams, G2, Mad Lions, BDS, XL, Fnatic, and SK. And you guys as the first seed have the option of choosing between BDS and XL as the first opponent. So who are you going with? Maybe I have to already pick now. I don't know. <laughs> Let's do I'm it sure now. Should I already decide? <laughs> all right. You I'm going to decide right selected. now all by myself. And I'm going to say <laughs> I we're going to pick team, team to him. BDS. <laughs> the top three, of course, will go to Montpellier, Occitanie, and Wales. And I see Roma losing it behind the monitor here. And again, the fourth place a fight will, will be decided against NA Sports Seed as well for the final ticket for Wales. GB, any quick reaction on the G2 versus BDS matchup that we're going to have? Yeah, I'm very happy that Mickey decided to pick a team he could actually pick instead of uh, Rasmog yeah. earlier. So actually, this is already you know, good improvement. Talk about it and stuff. So. Right, right, right. I think this was probably the one we all saw coming as well from mm -hmm. what we see of recent performance of the teams. Of course, finally going into that season finals, a lot of the teams will have time to improve. G2 will probably be the most studied team. Mm -hmm. So BDS does have that advantage going ahead for them, but I think for sure XL has proven to be the stronger opponent right now. I would like just to reassure the viewers that uh, they actually made this as a group decision. Mickey did not just flip it on stage and choose BDS this time. It was a group decision. <laughs> they all knew this one was coming, so no harm, no foul here. But uh, focusing a bit more on today, uh, today wasn't XL's day, but their journey was still incredible and will continue into season finals. And I want to toss it to Trouble for our interview with Odoamne. Thank you, Lore. Guys, a very heartwarming applause because 
I know you've both been to finals. I know you've both been to worlds. I know you've both won titles before, but I think sometimes it's very easy to sidetrack that you made it to the finals. And two weeks ago, this was not even in the cards. I mean, I'm just going to say it. He won in, in like a doomed region, so it doesn't really count, you know? <laughs> I think he's talking about you. Throw, throwing some shade on me <laughs> instantly, okay? I mean, did you win there ever? I mean, I... I mean, my career never really needed that, you know, turn to go to NA, you know? I was, like, fine enough to stay here all the time, so... I mean, to be fair, he kicked me out. I, I, played, <laughs> the res uh, I played the series against him when he was in Rogue in Schalke. We lost 3-1, I think, and then... He sent me to NA, basically. Hey, it do be like that. But then he needed you to get to the finals with Excel. Honestly, uh, all jokes and banter aside, that was a huge fit from, from Excel to make it to the finals, the first in Org's history. Now, Otto, I'm going to ask you to reflect a little bit on the year and how you guys got this far in summer. Yeah, I mean, it's been a crazy ride. Um, at the beginning, no one, we, we wouldn't really expect, you know, or dream of being in the finals uh, at all, after, especially after you've been 10 twice. So even though the growth has been, you know, exceptional, the split, and we've accomplished so much, um, losing a final still sucks, you know? So, uh, there, I mean, there, there, is a, there is a silver lining, you know? It's better to be to be like sad that you lost the final than to be sad that you're 10th. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm still like incredibly like, you know, upset about it. Losing a final always is horrible, but uh, yeah, at the end of the day, we did uh, achieve a lot. Now, I want to ask, obviously, when you're in 10th, you feel like you didn't have the chance to prove, but now I'm assuming you are in the finals. You guys showed what you can do last week versus G2. Now, but I'm not going to ask you what went wrong today. I'm going to ask you, how do you see the team moving forward? You have locked season finals, and that sussy uh, Mickey X move to choose BDS means that you guys are going to be playing Mad Lions in season finals. Yeah, I mean, I think it all depends on how we take it from here. Uh, if, we, if we take this loss too negatively, then we're not going to do well next next time, but I'm sure that everyone on this team has a mentality like that uh, we are we're really happy with our growth and we know that we can continue to get better. And I think we see summer finals as another opportunity to really go for the trophy because even though we lost today, they just had the number of us, but we still believe we can beat every team. And I mean, I, I, I didn't lose hope. Second best team in Europe, guys. some people faithful here i'm just going to say usually whoever is versus g2 in the finals you don't hear another chant it's just let's go g2 but today you had so many people cheering for excel Otto Amne, is there anyone you'd like to shout out whether it is from excel whether it's from behind the scenes whether it's the fans anyone yeah i mean uh, atmosphere today has been uh, crazy even though we got absolutely stomped you know uh, it's 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 been it's been fun uh, crowd did a great job um everyone backstage for us you know everyone part of the staff did uh, again i gave shout out to them yesterday but uh, again they've been doing a great job and uh, yeah everyone played uh, their part to us turning turning it around uh, the split so yeah massive props to to absolutely everyone part of the show and part of the staff and for you, Abadaga. I can't really say it better than Odo. Um, I think the environment we created at the Excel is just, it, you can imagine how good it is just by the kind of change in results from, from spring to summer. So yeah, I'm very proud of staff and the support we have at Excel and all my teammates. They did such a great job. And thank you guys, the fans, for also the great vibe today. Uh Huge thank you to you guys for joining me. Doing this interview after you've lost is not the easiest, but you're both champs for a lot of people. Can we have it one more time for Excel, please?
see you in season finals. I'm gonna throw it over back to Laura, who's joined by a new duo. I mean, we need to hear from all the winners here, I guess. So we're welcoming Bibi and Yike here on stage, Berlin once again. And Roma, I guess. <laughs> Um, but honestly, no, shout out to Odo Amnen and Abed Agri Smalizi coming after us like this. But um, massive props going from back to back 10th place once again to being the second best team in Europe going into summer. Quite an achievement, I would say, Jimmy. Yeah, I would say that this is also an organization filled with players that's probably cast out multiple times, found rock bottom, and then elevated themselves to overcome those issues that they found themselves in. And I think we've seen that so many times already from these players, and I'm very confident that we're going to see that in them again. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to their bounce back for season mm -hmm. finals. Guys, how have you worked for these finals? Because they took you to game five last time. So coming back, yike, today, taking them down 3-0. What has been the work behind the stage? Um, uh, I think we worked really hard uh, this last week, especially because I think the weeks before we might have been slacking a bit too much. And Thanks, think, and Arena, we heard. And I think yeah. it, uh, I think it showed on uh, uh, on the performance we had versus Excel last week. And uh, yeah, I think we had a lot to improve on. And uh, yeah, I think we just did much better this week. Top father, any words? Um, I can I can agree <laughs> with that. Um, like the last week, I was not the one slacking. Uh, just to make uh, who was right. slacking? Give us names. Uh, no, I can't. Follow <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Names, right? <laughs> but, uh, he's looking pretty yeah, guilty yeah, yeah. right now. I'll be honest. <laughs> uh, I think I think uh, it really showed how much work we have put in uh, to 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 earn earn this title, right? Uh, we stomped every single game uh, very convincingly as well, and that is not because we're lucky, right? It's because of how much work we yeah. put in. Um, and last week, I think, was the week. <laughs> Sorry. You're gonna be, can, you, uh, can you give him some water? <laughs> and last week was the week we played our hearts out, yeah. not only on stage, but also in practice. And our staff members, who, one of us behind me, uh, is also giving it their all rights for us to be the best players we yeah. can possibly be. It is a staff member, actually. It's just. It doesn't look like it, but yeah, it is. Um, for focusing on the finals, Yike, we've been, of course, talking about you. You're amazing here. Going from the NFL last year to becoming one of the best, if not the best jungler we have in Europe. Thank you. And I'm sorry it got spoiled in the prompter, but you are the finals MVP here. Okay. We're gonna need... Thank you, guys. Yeah, it looks like... He's out the dog. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. How do you reflect on your success, improvements, and yeah, this title that you earned once yeah, again? Yeah, uh, I want to say that this title actually feels even better than the in winter because in winter split, I got to play a lot of carry champs, and uh, that was my style all the time. And yeah, it went well. We won as well. But uh, in spring split, I kind of tried to play the more facilitators and help the team more. And I realized that I did not play it as good as the carries, so I was not happy with my performance mm -hmm. in both spring. And I mean, MSI, I did decent, I guess. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so in summer, I really wanted to prove that I can actually play the champs. I can play Zeriani, I can play Rel, I can play Ivan, Maokai, all the champs. So I'm really happy with my performance playing these champs and improving with them so much. Mm -hmm. And it feels amazing. I got an MVP. Uh, I'm so thankful. Often we get players, rookie players like this, who come and smash the scene and elevate themselves as the best players we have in Europe. GB, I think when I think of junglers, it has to be oh yeah before him and yeah, but yeah, not not so often we have players like this. BB, I have something for you as well. Of course, you played well today. You actually got the masterclass play of the day <laughs> on these jacks. Let's watch the quadra kill at the end of game two. And BB, if you can talk us through this play, please, and what you made happen here. Uh, well. I think I'm just way too strong here already. I have uh, three or four items here, and the champions are not really good against me. Um, and we kind of have a thing in, in our scrims. Uh, when, whenever we get a double kill or something, we scream for Penta, Penta. And I was screaming for Penta here, and LeBlanc just kills me. I got a bit yeah. sad. Um, <laughs> but I really thought this is my second Penta uh, in the professional scene, but Abedaga took it away from me. It's very sad. Poor teammates, <laughs> wow.
This is payback for what you gave him at Euphoria podcast, I feel. Throwing shade on the lack of results in Scream, I believe. Still a good play, honestly. Uh, a good performance overall from GB. Uh, from BB. Thank I you. Say GB. I appreciate BB it. GB. I'm getting confused here. <laughs> you played well. Okay. Yeah, also. okay, thank you. You know, I got some moves as well. But no, I honestly agree. It, it, I think finals MVP as well, of course, like you, I mean, I voted for him, so it's not like to say that uh, he didn't deserve it. But I think pretty much any player of G2 could have earned it today. I yeah. think that BB pretty much had the best series in a, well, not in a long time, because we see it quite often, but even Mickey as well and De Leona had some really sick moves with the center plate into an ultimate on different targets yeah. as well, where his awareness in fights uh, was just insane. Cap's first game as well on the Ari was in a matchup where you feel like maybe it shouldn't go as hard as it did, but it really <laughs> did out of nowhere. Um, and then Ansama as well, there's not much to say, really mm -hmm. just the best AD care in Europe, but all of G2 is scary when they show up like this and, and it showed today. What can we expect in the season finals then, guys? Well, what's on the menu now? You're going to take a break. I uh, have the manager behind you, so maybe... No, no break. <laughs> <All right. laughs> no break. Straight to it. And MAD versus Excel will be the opening series on Saturday, 19th of August, and G2 versus BDS the day after on Sunday. Uh, Mickey announced for the rest of the team, I guess, that you were going to face off against BDS. Any thoughts on this opponent and choosing BDS over Excel? Uh, I go. I'll ask both of you guys. Um, anyway. I mean, for me, I think BDS is, uh, was a very strong team actually uh, coming into uh, the splits. They, they usually have, like, like, for example, Adam, I, I respect the way he plays the game. He just says, I'm going to play Olaf, Darius, Set, and I'm going to play it good, right? And you, as a, as a top laner especially, you will have to respect that because those champions are not meta, but he doesn't, he doesn't care, care, right? He will just play it. Um, and I think if he shows up, usually they are winning a lot of games. I also think that they are just steadily getting, getting better. And I think uh, Shio is finding a lot of plays. I think uh, he's a very creative jungler, let's say. I think he, he really looks for creative stuff that normally people wouldn't do. At least that's what, how I feel playing against him. Uh, but we chose them obviously over XL because of how much improvement XL showed um, this split. So we wanted to go, at least that's what I think, why we chose them. All right. Yeah, I would agree. No further comments. Uh, no further comments. We will not elaborate <laughs> on this. <laughs> uh, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Uh. <laughs> Guys, thank you. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. And congrats on uh, hoisting yet another trophy uh, in the G2 Trophy case. And thank you, Berlin, also for being an amazing audience today. Um, congratulations again to G2 Esports for winning the LEC 2023 Summer of Spits. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> we will see who will lift the crown in Montpellier. Our fourth week LEC season finals begin on Saturday, August 19th, with our games in the first week beginning a little bit earlier this time around. 4 p.m. CEST. Thank you everyone for watching and see you then. Shall uh, ultimate, ultimate. Boss no flash. Block, block, block. I think, yeah, come in, come in. Win, 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 win. Look, chase two, look, chase two. Yeah. One auto, one auto. I can, I can ult, flash, maybe. I can flash. If you have Sharma, I can ult. I don't have Sharma too. I have Sharma. Yeah, yeah, maybe yeah, I don't yeah. have... Uh, yeah. Nice. Yes. Nice. Call the Forge card, not even viable, not even useful. Kill secured by Caps, turning their attention over to Limit. Broken Blade finally run down by the members of XL, but the Spirit Rush forward, Charm sidestep, but the Arctic Assault is not. It's a triple. Yeah. I flash him, look, look, look. <laughs> okay, okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, no. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Let's vote in position here to see if they can get onto Caps, but I don't think they'll be particularly much yes. Serial Chains connects the boat, Skewer does too. Caps below 200, Peach goes forward, first blood secured. Sama and Mickey still got flashes available. Abadaga needs to try and find that target, distorts forward, doesn't connect with the chains, stunned in place, finally looking for a kill. Oh, no, he doesn't do it. What? He does not do it. Mickey, you so fine. Hell, oh, hell. <laughs> I kill one. You're fine. Nice. Oh, he's not running, not only. I'm running, I'm running. Oh, yeah, I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. Can we do that? Wait, he's rolling? Oh, he's rolling. Okay. What? He needs to do something magical. Abadage and Peach in the wind. Oh my god. Goodbye, Abadage! Okay.
Cricket Strel. Evet, Cepek. Yep, Flash. Bot of Tactic is here. Rooted. Nico, what's it? Ignite, Magic steps forward, forced to use the feathers, they fly, and Yike manages to find one on the back line, sinking the fangs in, it's a double! Okay, he's coming, he's gonna chase you guys, he's coming for the one now. Nice. Look, look, just kill him, kill him. No combo, no combo. He has Flash Hold, he has Flash Hold. Good fight, bro! Nice. Nice guys, we are champions! That's it. Nice, good job, team. Guys, good hustle. It deserves that shit, okay? Uh, we're very, I'm very proud of you. I'm so proud of you guys. I'm very proud of you guys. Very proud of you guys. For the 11th time, G2 are your champions!